Brian, we just want to congratulate you on a wonderful day. You're certainly a man who deserves it. We love you. I say to myself, man, I can't believe this is little Brian, but I guess it is. I believe this day is ordained, and we certainly thank God for it. Best to you, Brian. Love you. Brian, this is your uncle, your friend. I am so grateful that I am alive to see this day. This is making history, and I couldn't think of a better person to be the first in New London to honor us in this position. God bless. I love you. I love you. Brian, this is fantastic. From the little guy I knew to the man who always does the right thing. I just looked at you over the years and really admired how you've done things. You, you deserve this so much. Yep, love you, brother. Take care. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to see you do this. I'm so thankful that you are a great man and that you're doing this for New London. You make me stronger every time you do something. Thank you. So proud of you, Uncle Brian. Love you. I'm so proud of you. Love you. I'm so proud of you, Uncle Brian. Hi, Uncle Brian. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad I could come down here and see you with this great success. I love you, and I love you. <laughs> I'm ecstatic that you are doing this, that you're a part of the city. I remember you standing outside St. Joseph's because someone treated us, your nieces, incorrectly, and you stood for justice way back then, and I will never forget it. I'm glad that you stayed within the city and decided to keep doing what you're doing the best cop everybody keeps talking about mr right is the right cop type thing so i am so ecstatic and happy for you i love you love you love you so very much you'll never understand how much i love you thank you for being my chief of police brother we're so proud of you my heart is so full we thank him for all our blessings Love you. Hello there. Here today in New London at City Pier to honor my brother, Mr. Chief Brian Michael Wright. And I want to say congratulations to Boo. Your sister's proud of you. Brian, every reason to be proud of all the work you've done.
by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. I'd like to call up Reverend Ratley for the invocation. May we bow our heads. O oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, O oh Lord. This day, O oh Father God, we ask thy blessings upon this ceremony, Lord, as we, the people, come from the city of New London to swear in Benjamin Michael Wright as the chief of the New London Police Force. Father, with just joy and excitement, O oh Father, we come. And we ask that your presence be an anointing upon this place and upon his life. That, O oh Father God, you would give him the wisdom of Solomon. That you would give him, O oh Father God, the strength of Paul. Lord God, that you would continue to bless him with his love that he has for New London. That he may protect and serve, Father. And that the people of this great city, O oh Father, may be there in union with the force. In all things, we pray in Jesus' name. Let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Detail, hooray, back. Please be seated. First of all, I'd like to uh, introduce myself. My name is Steve Bills. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for the City of New London. And I would like to welcome you to this beautiful venue that we know to be City Pier. This is, uh, this is one of the nicest spots, I think, in the city. And uh, we wanted to have a special event in a special place. This was chosen for that. So welcome. I hope you enjoy the brief ceremony we're going to have today. Um, I'd like to announce the people sitting up in the front. You have uh, State Representative Joe Delacruz. If you just stand up just real quickly. State Representative Anthony Nolan. We are proud to have our city's poet laureate, Joshua Brown. You just met Reverend Herbert Ratley. Shortly, the next police chief in the city of New London. Brian Wright. <laughs> the mayor of our community, the Honorable Michael Passero. <laughs> President of the New London City Council, President Dominguez. President Pro Tem of the City Council, President Pro Tem Natates, <laughs> Councillor Dias, <laughs> Councillor Goodwin, <laughs> Councillor Burke. 
and his administrative assistant. <laughs> Just briefly, um, when a community has to promote someone to the rank of police chief, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal for the police department. It's a big deal for the community. It's not an easy choice. It never is. It is one of the most critical positions in government. And we are very, very proud and pleased to have this opportunity. I'd also like to ask all the department heads and the city workers who are here today just to stand up and be recognized. to make some comments, Mayor Michael Passwell. Good evening on this glorious day. Uh, I'm honored to welcome you here today as our city formally transitions the leadership of the new London Police Department. I'm going to take a break here and identify some other important dignitaries that are here. It's always risky. And I apologize if I leave everybody out, but I want to start first with our great partner to this Coast Guard City, Admiral Kelly and his wife, Annie. Thank you for coming. The partner of the city and the police department, State's Attorney Paul Narducci. The first selectman of Waterford, Rob Rule. our superintendent, Cynthia Ritchie. And we're, we're really honored to have our last three police chiefs here uh, uh, tonight, um, starting with um, Chief Reinhardt. <laughs> Chief Ackley. And Chief Riker. Thank you, Chief. The police chief from Mohegan Tribe is here, Chief Hotsky. Police Chief of Waterford is here, Chief Mahoney. The police chief of Ledger is here, Chief Rich. Rotten Town's Chief Fasaro. Rotten City Chief Jenkins. Meriden's Chief Rosado. And Putnam's Chief, who's a New London, uh, New London kid, Chief Ferrasi. Norwich's Deputy Chief is here, Chief Poor. Chief Stratford's um, Lieutenant uh, Curtis Eller is here. Sorry about that. And Reverend Coleman is here representing the city, uh, Rotten City Police Department. I'd also like to uh, introduce a great partner, Gene Jordan, the president of the NAACP. <laughs> this is an incredible tribute, Chief Craig. These are challenging times for police departments. Our officers are expected to do much more than just law enforcement in New London. They confront the consequences of poverty, mental illness, substance use disorder, unemployment and underemployment, inadequate housing, and isolation. The amazing personnel of the New London Police Department, ladies and gentlemen. Work our 
arduously and effectively around the clock every day, responding to emergencies, mitigating hazards, investigating complex matters, and working to improve the quality of life in our community for all. It is those daily heroic and incredible efforts that require strong expert leadership to ensure that our police are properly trained and have the necessary resources to be successful. The leader of our police department must also implement effective policies and procedures to set the tone to ensure the community's values are understood and respected in our policing endeavors. Brian Wright has been an invaluable member of the city's executive leadership team for the past six years. I am especially indebted to him for his contribution to the work of the Public Safety Policy Review Committee. And many of the members of that committee are here today also, and I want to thank you for your service, and feel free to stand or give a wave to be recognized. committee has particularly helped to prepare Chief Wright for the challenges ahead as our administration collaborates with the City Council to implement the recommendations of the committee, including establishing a civilian review board and establishing a public safety mental health response structure. Chief Wright is up to all these challenges as a seasoned 27-year veteran with a long history and commitment to the concept of community policing and a collaborative approach to crime prevention and the enhancement of the, quality of, of the quality of life throughout all the neighborhoods in our city. With this appointment of Brian Wright as the chief of police of our city, we begin a new and exciting period in our history, full of hope, hopefulness, high expectation, and fresh, fresh approaches during this period of national and local dialogue on the expectation of today's policing and the future of policing in our society. I am thrilled to be working with Pol Police Chief Brian Wright as we overcome these challenges and work to meet the public's expectations for policing today and into the future. Thank you all and congratulations, Chief Wright. quite a testament when you see uh, this level of people in the criminal justice system, meaning law enforcement and in the court system uh, here today, um, supporting Chief Wright. So I think that's, uh, that says something about him, it says something about his reputation, it says something about his values. His people know him, they respect him, they like him, and that's why you're here today. Uh, next up, I'd like to call President of the City Council, President Dominguez. Well, greetings to everyone. What, a, what just an incredible uh, occasion to be here today to celebrate this man. Before I do that, let me just... Uh, there's some Board of Education members that I also want to make sure I acknowledge that are here too. Can you stand? Thank you. That's how we work in the city. If someone forgets something, we look for, out for each other. That's called unity. So greetings to all this evening, special to Police Chief Brian, I like Benjamin Michael Wright and his family. This is a momentous and historic occasion as we saw in our first African-American police chief in our city. Thank you. Thank you give that an applause. And I hope that you want to celebrate. Let's not be shy. Let's celebrate. Okay. 
It's short, so we'll be short. When I first heard the news, I said to myself, New London is moving in the right direction. Yeah. Who better than this man who has been invested in the city for the past 27 years? <laughs> Not overnight, 27 years. Who has been exemplary in the countless positions he has held in the New London Police Department. In all the years I've served as a city council, Captain, oh, excuse me, back then Captain, now Chief, right, has demonstrated his passion for being a police officer with professionalism, commitment, and vision, and integrity. Many in the New London community look up to him. I look up to him. I remember when I met him way before 2013 when I entered into this political journey. Always respectful, listens to you, pays attention. Doesn't matter who you are, a child, a teenager, a woman, a man, it doesn't matter, old, young. That's important. I know he will make an, an excellent chief. He had many mentors in New London. All the various chiefs that were named. In conclusion, this is what I want to say. I know his wife is not here, but I know his son and daughter are here and his distinguished family. We are proud of this young man. We want to thank his son, we want to thank his daughter, we want to thank his own family, because together you have been with him in this journey. And to Chief Benjamin. You know Benjamin? In the lineage, that means kings came from the tribe of Benjamin. Right? May God bless you as you lead the New London Police Department into its next glorious chapter. Yeah. There's something you said uh, that the president just talked about, talking about uh, he had great mentors, and he did. He, he came up under, I uh, believe, three police chiefs, uh, Chief uh, Reinhardt, Ackley, Chief Ackley and Chief uh, Riker, and you learn something from each one of them. And that's what builds, builds you as a leader, is you learn from each one. Every day is a training day. Not like that silly movie, but every day is a training day. And uh, Ryan Wright came to work every day, and he trained to be the best he can be, and that's why he's sitting before you here today. Next up would be Counselor. Good way. I guess I'll be the more sentimental one. I wish I knew Benjamin when I was 10 when I met you. <laughs> wow, what a day. So I thought about what to say, what not to say. My first thought was that I could easily talk about what this means to me as a black male, what it means to me as a black city councilor, but there's enough chatter about our skin color and not enough emphasis on impact, on merit, and certainly not enough people saying about time. While being a black chief is certainly important and the obvious, I didn't want it to be the only highlight. After all, I did promise the mayor that if I wasn't given this opportunity to speak, that I'd pull a Kanye West and grab the mic anyway. <laughs> but here I am. It's true. Anyway, so I decided to talk about something a little bit more personal and make good use of my limited time. If you indulge and I'll attempt to be brief. Allow me to take you back to my younger years as a child in New London. I swear I was a good kid. When I was in the fourth grade and a student in Brian Wright's D.A.R.E. program, Drug, Abuse, Resistance, and Education, I'll never forget that acronym, they drilled it into us. 
And then in the fifth grade, I had the pleasure because he led us through the Greek program, gang, resistance, education, and training. It was in this program that Brian would give me my first medal of excellence and point out that I was a leader. Imagine the impact that that would have on my younger self, that somebody who looked like me and that was positive would recognize me. You have to understand, I come from a very tough world and an upbringing where you don't call the police and you surely do not trust them. However, I'd go on to graduate as class president of my high school and then attend college at Johnson & Wales to study business. But somewhere in between my college studies, life became extremely tough. To be completely candid, around the age of 21, I came out. Something that to this day, I never really elaborated on publicly. But in this moment of my vulnerability, it's worth illustrating the impact that Brian had on me. So my first relationship with a guy was a very toxic one and I truly lost my way. Far from that star student in his dear and great program and very far from that class president that I was. There was this one particular day where on an altercation with my partner, it led to me being sent to the hospital. While I sat in this hospital room and it was cold, Feeling embarrassed and at my lowest, in comes Brian completely unexpectedly. He asked the police officer in the room to exit and close the door. Keep in mind, he did not have to come. He was not the officer on the scene. But when you know your community, you stay connected, and you are invested, we show up when needed. So Brian asked me, how come you didn't just come talk to me? He also said, did you think I'd actually clear or look at you differently? He was referring to me being in a relationship with another male, acknowledging my struggle, recognizing who I was outside of the labels, and again, touting my, pot my potential. He continued, I care enough to know I don't want to see this ever happen to you again. You deserve more than this. I'm paraphrasing some because it's been COVID and I was 13-ish COVID years ago. So here I am today, watching this remarkable man be sworn in as our city's new chief and first chief of color. Chief, I'm your former student turned entrepreneur, turned city councilor, and an example of your impact, because it truly takes a vision. I stand here captivated, encouraged, and inspired to continue to do my part, thanks to people like you. Thank you for never giving up on this community and for showing me at my youngest, and then again at my most transforming this moment that I had choices, no matter my circumstance. So as chief, you will be faced with many choices. I only ask a few things. I ask that you hold your officers to the standard of excellence you live by as you grew through the ranks. That you foster a culture your younger self would find pride in, and a place that reimagines policing to be of, about, and for the community. And I ask that if you ever find yourself needing support, an ear or a person to advance ideas, tension or frustration, it is New London and we have our moments, that you reach out to someone as you told me years ago, that you be as courageous as you told my younger self to be. I still have my medal from fifth grade that you gave me and I'm glad to be a counselor witnessing you receive yours. Please know that you have made history and have inspired many. As black leaders, we are few at the table and the doors we open regardless of what people say will be transformational and help undo systems. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, New London. It's about time. Thank you, Councilor Goodwin. Now's the time. City Clerk Ayala. Chief Wright and Mayor Passwa, would you come up?
Council members, New London City Department heads, and more importantly, my family, friends, members of the New London Police Department, and the extraordinary New London community for all the support and vote of confidence. I am grateful, honored, and humbled. I would not be here if it weren't for many, many of you present today and some not present. Many of you have played a major role in my life and helped me succeed in ways that you may or may not even know. To each of you, thank you. Job well done. <laughs> well, respect. <laughs> respect and honor and learn from the past, but we won't live in the past. Moving forward in a manner that best serves our community, our police department, and our city shall be our focus and agenda. To the community, residents, and stakeholders, I offer you my commitment to do better and be better. It's not only my responsibility, it is my obligation. All members of our community deserve fair treatment. New London Police Department is committed to providing the highest quality of police services. Our department personnel shall be empowered to work in partnership with the community to a goal of improving the quality of life in the city of New London through preserving peace, reducing fear, and providing for an overall safe environment. The department protects the rights and dignity of all citizens with professionalism and compassion. The actions of any police officer in an instance can impact an individual for life and even a community for generations. Given this realization, every police officer and law enforcement agency must be centered on what is important. Service, justice, fundamental fairness, these are the foundational principles in which we as law enforcement must be grounded. Members of the New London Police Department, I'm committed to your health, your safety, and your professional development. Always remembering that our city and the department are proud of each and every one of you, and it will be successful because of you. The best ideals come from people closest to the work. And I commit to listening to you, not just your ideals, but also your concerns. Great things are never done by one person. They are done by a team of people. Understand that we are a responsible and accountable organization. We will be open and transparent, and we will not be afraid to tell what we do. When we mess up, we'll fess up, and we'll fix it. We will listen to understand rather than listen to respond. Empathy and inclusion are and will be pertinent and vital for our organization. Success is not the absence of failure. We make mistakes. Police work is difficult, it is frustrating at times, and the demands are high but support and accomplishment are cures for frustration. I look forward to our times ahead as we fully commit to being a collaborative, transparent, 
and learning organization that leads the way as a model 21st police agency. As I often, often reference Luke 12, 48, to whom much is given, much will be required. For everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. The City of New London, as well as the members of the New London Police Department, I will give you 110% effort each day to move our department forward in a positive direction. As one of my first orders of, or as Chief of Police, I would like to present the following. The Distinguished Service Medal Award. This is awarded by the Chief of Police for highly credible and consistent acts of police service over an extended period of time. The pandemic, March 2020 to present, has been a long and laborious time frame for all, especially for the staff of the New London Police Department and the Fire Department, both sworn and civilian. It required a high level of commitment to service and ongoing selflessness, service before self. Although steps and procedures were taken to reduce the exposure of our staff, exposure was inevitable and a reality. Neither agency, the FD or the PD, never had a fundamental change in our ability to deliver 911 services. Unlike many agencies, entities who were able to offer the opportunity to staff to work from home, we were not. While we were facing and dealing with uncharted matters and the ultimate disposition was unknown, personnel showed up. Although many of our personnel had loved ones at home who were at high risk or may have been high risk themselves, personnel showed up. Everyone doing their part without personal regard. I and the community are forever grateful. It is my pleasure to extend this award to each sworn member and each civilian member of the New London Police Department. God bless and thank you for your service. the benediction by Reverend, Reverend uh, Ratley. Takes me a little longer to get up these days. So. May we bow our heads. Father, you have blessed us in this ceremony, Lord. Lord God, we have a new chief in town, Brian Michael Wright. And we're asking, Father God, thy blessings upon him, Father. We're asking, Father, thy blessings upon the city of New London. We're reminded by the words of the poet, O oh Lord God, this day, that we do not live in a perfect world. But we, and each and every one of us, has an opportunity to call upon our fathers and to ask our fathers help in all things. Brian will need, O oh Lord God, your wisdom and your strength in all things, as will the men of this great police force, Father. But we ask, Father God, not only of their prayers, Lord, but each and every one of us that we call upon Almighty God that he would bless us not only as we leave this place, but through our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Say amen. 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 Now I can say something. <laughs> I'm Brian's brother-in-law. Oh. <laughs> and I've had a hard time sitting here. I know this wasn't planned, and they'll probably never invite me back. <laughs> But that's all right. You notice that every time I said Brian Wright, I said Brian Michael Wright. Because when his mother was about to 
have, Brian. I suggested the name Michael. That's his middle name. Pretty proud of that. But I'm not going to go on because I have a lot of stories, so you can see me later on. Closing out, I would like to just take a second and recognize anyone who's a police officer or a retired police officer. Could you just put your hand up? Just show who you are. Thank you for your service. Color Guard, retreat. Colors. Yeah, hey, Jake. Port, on. Red, red. My word, on. Mark on. Thank you for attending. <laughs>